Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, my amendment is a common sense way to support a particularly effective workforce development model that has bipartisan support in Congress and in the White House, apprenticeships. And I hope that all members of this committee can support it. And I'd like to thank Congressman Reichert for co-sponsoring this amendment. Helping people find long-term employment in a high-demand industry is one of the best ways to ensure that everyone has economic security. Apprenticeships and on-the-job training are an important part of that equation. And we know that apprenticeships can be an incredible opportunity for businesses and workers alike. They allow employers to build a pipeline of qualified workers while equipping job seekers with the specific skills they need to find and keep good paying jobs. Oftentimes, they provide skills that are portable and meaningful anywhere in the country, giving workers more freedom to transfer between companies and industries. In today's evolving economy, this kind of portability is crucial. Apprenticeships have been shown to increase workers' earnings potential in both the short term and in the long term. And in my home state of Washington, public investments in apprenticeship programs have been demonstrated to give a higher return on investment than any other workforce development program. According to our Workforce Training and Education Coordinating Board, these programs offer a net benefit to taxpayers of $85,000 per apprentice over the course of their lifetimes. So that's a return of $23 for every $1 invested by the public. It's important to remember that these smart investments not only have an incredible effect on our economy, but also on people's lives by ensuring that they have good paying jobs and careers. Providing our constituents with better workforce training options shouldn't be a partisan issue. This is something both sides of the aisle have come together on before through policies like the Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act and we should continue to build on that progress. We need a national commitment to addressing the skills gap through federal policies that promote apprenticeships and meet the needs of an evolving 21st century workforce. This is particularly true as technological advancements like automation continue to dramatically shift how our economy works today. For all of these reasons, I encourage my colleagues to support this amendment 